Okay, so I don't have to repeat my name again. Uh, I'm the creative director and co-founder of uh, that game company. Uh, and uh, we actually founded this company on May 2006, mainly with a bunch of people who just graduated from the school. Some of them graduated from undergrad, and you know, people like me just come out of grad school. Um, and we are together because we really think that we can make something different, make something good towards the video game industry. Uh, so we've been making PlayStation 3 games in the past three years. Uh, we have two games, Flow and Flower. Um, I'm just curious how many of you actually own PlayStation 3 here? Okay, I only see two hands. <laughs> how many of you own Xbox 360? Okay, there's a little bit more. Uh, so that's, that's actually okay, because I'm not here to talk about these games, since you guys probably haven't really played it. Uh, I'm going to talk about something bigger, uh, which is video games, uh, as a medium that is waiting for a change. 2009 was a year that's about change. You know, you know, Obama used change all the time, but I start to think about when people wanted to change something, uh, it's usually based on a frustration. And, and certainly for me, I have lots of frustration, and that's why I, what I do, what I love to do, which is to change it. And my frustration doesn't come as a game developer, but instead uh, as a gamer. Um, here's a list of games I owned and played for the past 20 years. And you don't really care what's on there, but you can tell that my interest towards games is it's just reducing over time. I mean, I still play a lot of games every day, but I start to play less and less games. Uh, 15 years ago, I played this game. Uh, <laughs> how many of, of you have seen this game or played it? Hey, there you go. Uh, now, how many people have played this game, which is recent? Right, only two of you guys. Uh, I don't really feel as thrilled as I used to remember when I played this game. And I remember my dad was telling me, hey, you should go to study. Do something meaningful. I was like, dad, I am studying how to drive a car. <laughs> All right? Um, and 15 years ago, I played this game, right? And I was so scared, you know, with that, the, the blue guy. Um, that guy is evil. Um, and appears in my nightmares. But now we have some game just like that and today, but I don't even feel a thing while we're playing it. Um, today the game is more real, the technology, the simulation is more advanced. You know, theoretically the game is much more satisfying than what it used to be. And I often say that games are great for kids because they teach you mathematics, teach you color theory, and also teach you uh, some kind of physics. Um, but now, if you really think about it, um, this is something a toy can teach you as well, <laughs> right? But when you grow up, you know, when you become an adult, you will be a moron if you're so obsessed with toys. And I don't really want to see this happen to video games, because I grew up with it, I loved it, and I thought game has changed me in a positive way. But I don't want to see this thing that I loved gets abandoned. And I'm seeing it because me, myself, is losing interest in it. And that's my frustration. Um, so, what can I do about it? What can you do about it? Well, just add more mature content. Yeah, there's a lot of mature content like this, and there's mature content like that. Uh, they are really more like for intellectually immature people. Uh, and when you think about mature stuff, you think about old, what old people do, right? Old people still read books. Old people still go to watch movies, and they still engage in a very casual sports. And, you know, sports, in a way, is a game. It's just not digital. So I was thinking, well, what is that thing that's missing in the current game that, you know, the current mature people, the adults, start to lose the interest in? And how can I make that to recapture them? Um, and this frustration kind of brought me to the grad school. I, I think I need to learn game design. I went to the University of Southern California. Uh, there's a division called Interactive Media. And uh, together with a group of students, we worked on a project uh, called Cloud. I don't know if any of you would have a chance to play this game. If you do, that's really magical. It's a student project. 
It's funded by a university grant, which is called Game Innovation Grant. We wanted to do something that's the opposite of what we thought video games are uh, at the time. And instead, we want to focus on something people have never done before. So we wanted to focus on you know, the, the playfulness as a kid and the, the wild imagination you used to have uh, when you look up the sky, look at the clouds. So the game is very simple. It's about a boy who's sick in the hospital, and he daydreams himself floating in the sky, play with the clouds. And by using the cloud, he can create weather like rain to clean the land. It doesn't have enemy, it doesn't have boss or points or levels. All it has is that space you can, you can in interact with. Um, so when we finished this game, we put it online, we saw this, this is not even a game. We have no idea how this is going to be received. But it's kind of overwhelming. The fact our school server has crashed four times is crazy. Just people are downloading this game all around the globe. And we start to get fan mails, you know, like email from people from all around diff different uh, countries in the world. And they were telling us that um, the game is so beautiful and it's making them almost crying for the game. And I was like, what? How can I make a game to make people cry? I don't know what I did there. You know, it certainly happened. And there's something special. And a lot of people who wrote us were like in their 30s uh, you know, or 50s. And I was like, why would these people play this game? Um, and uh, I started to ask myself, what did, what did I do right? I don't know. Um, and after a long time, I think I got it. Uh, there's a new continent in the, the way you design a game. Uh, and this continent is called uh, feelings. So probably don't know what I'm talking about right now. So I'm going to spend the, the next few minutes just to explain feelings. So when you're hungry, you go out to look for food. right? When you're thirsty, you go out to look for water. 